Hello everyone, welcome to Hood, Outlaws and Legends. Today, I'm showcasing gameplay and talking through some of the tactical options available to you thanks to specialized custom character builds. First things first, Hood is an online heist game where two teams of four players battle it out for treasure. The twist? The chest is protected by a fearsome sheriff and a squad of elite knights. This clip finds our ranger neck deep in enemy territory, forcing a big distraction near the spawn point so his brawler can carry the chest to safety. Getting spotted means you're revealed to all the players in the area, even the enemy team. It also locks the sector down and calls for guard reinforcements. This ranger is equipped with a melee perk that allows him to punch people with his arrows for extra damage, which is great for quickly disposing of enemies. With the spawn point captured, it's time to take the high ground and try to gain more information. Let's use this time to look at this ranger's perks. The core of this build is the Razor Gauntlets and Forceful Fighter, which is a great source of burst in a brawl. The third ability, Focused Flight, is niche, but has a lot of value in large maps like this. Looks like the chest had to be abandoned. The sheriff is chasing after the enemy team, which is the perfect time to whittle them down. The enemy's spawn point is just beyond that gate, so as long as there's a lockdown in the area, they're going to have trouble getting through. Of course, the same applies to us. It's too risky to go there and try to capture it. God. The sheriff can instant kill anyone unfortunate enough to be near him. Looks like the enemy ranger is having a bad day. The Forceful Fighter perk means the Ranger needs ammo frequently. Can't afford to miss too many times. The enemy will likely regroup at the spawn point we indicated earlier. They can choose to go around and take this side path, but it will get them spotted if they rush it. The Ranger's ultimate ability, the Explosive Arrow, is perfect for this kind of situation. A final kill at this range will set him and his team up nicely for the next skirmish, and thanks to his perk, another ultimate is on the way. Now we move on to the brawler. An extraction was foiled by an alarm, and our teammates need some assistance. John's utility, a frag grenade, is perfect for clearing space. The crank still has a long way to go, and the enemies are sprinting towards the close spawn point. The brawler, with his ultimate ready, decides to try and stop them so his team can maintain pressure on the objective. This brawler is built for holding out positions, with an upgraded perfect parry and an increased health pool. With stamina down after the last heavy attack, our brawler activates his ultimate. The other brawler has the same idea, but too little, too late. The Mystic scrambles over to try and get an execution, but infinite stamina easily destroys his guard and ends his life. It isn't over yet. Should the brawler push the objective, or will the enemy team send another attack to A? The impatient enemy has decided to sprint to A, getting seen by the guards and revealing his position he will be punished for it. Down you go. Although known for his healing and melee fighting capabilities, with a fast movement perk, a confident mystic can easily slip past enemy defenses. Here, the team agrees to split up and find objectives, while the mystic goes off to steal the key on his own. With the enemy team spotted so early, they're going to have trouble getting through the gates. The mystic, like the hunter, can silently open doors with a key. Be 
likely to attract less attention. Stay vigilant. Yes. After taking the key, the enemy team is notified. However, they are not given its location or the area where the vault is. Both the key and the vault are now in our hands. You leave me no choice. This entire sequence was done without alerting a single guard or player, which means the enemy team has no real idea where the chest is. The friendly team will have free reign over where they want to extract and which spawn points they want to take. Finally, we end with the hunter. Often, the hunter is good as recon and infiltration, but there are situations that call for defensive play. Here, the hunter is trying to hold the enemy's forward spawn point and delay them for as long as possible. The hunter's concealment doesn't make her completely invisible to players, and it looks like this ranger was expecting her. It's safe to assume the enemy team will come back as quick as they can. The hunter assassinates targets faster than any other class. This hunter's multi-shot crossbow fires slower but more powerful bolts. While the enemy got away, they're not in a good state. With more powerful bolts, the breakpoints of low-armored foes are easily reached with one shot to the head and one to the body. Or vice versa, making her a powerful defender against this ranged heavy team. Hood Outlaws and Legends comes out on the 10th of May, and if you pre-order now, you'll get access to the game three days earlier. Thanks for watching our gameplay showcase. See you in the field, Outlaws.